Hey everybody, Marlis here is here from Paleo Porn, and today we're gonna make Paleo mayonnaise. Let's get to it. ingredients you're going to need to make paleo mayonnaise. You'll need a half a teaspoon of sea salt. Uh, you'll need one teaspoon of water and we I used filtered water from our Berkey. Um, you'll need two teaspoons of lemon juice and I'm using a fresh lemon. Uh, you'll need one egg yolk, just the yolk, and one cup of, I use, extra light olive oil. And that's it. So we're gonna get started. The first thing you're gonna need to do is, let's get our egg yolk. One yolk. And you're gonna combine your sea salt and your water. And you're going to combine your lemon juice. <laughs> this does not fit in my, in my thing. Um, okay. <laughs> no comments from the peanut gallery. <laughs> All right, so we need two teaspoons of lemon juice. <laughs> or as best as you can get that. There we go. All righty. Oh, we're going to combine that. And we're going to add just a little bit of olive oil. And now once everything is well combined, you're going to drizzle in a little bit of olive oil at a time. And this should take you about two to three minutes to get to an actual finished product of your paleo mayonnaise. But you should see it start to emulsify as you go. So just a little bit of drizzle and you're gonna keep on whisking. So I'm doing this by hand. You can do it with a blender or an immersion blender or something else electronic. But I've done that in the past and it got everywhere in my kitchen. So I decided to make it by hand. And this way I can actually see what's happening and it's not going to sp spit out at me and hit me in the eyeball or get all over my hair or the cabinets. So we're just going to do a little kind of tiny drizzle as we're whisking. That was a lot. <laughs> and I'm, I know I wrote this on the blog, but I'm using a bowl that has uh, a rubber bottom so that as I'm whisking, it doesn't move. So that would be one thing I would recommend. Also, you can see that it's a little easier to use a whisk rather than a fork for this. And technically, or usually, I don't, um, use a whisk, but this is actually much easier to use a whisk for. Whew, arm break. sweat towel. <laughs> you can see it's starting to get a little bit more thick the more we mix. We 
We chose a 90 degree day to do this on, so we're gonna try and not get the sweat in the bowl. <laughs> Need a break. <laughs> We're getting there. Woo -wee! My arm is feeling great. <laughs> Our mayo is looking fabulous. There it is. It's almost there, almost done with all the oil, but it's getting really thick. <laughs> Cooking is a sport in itself. <laughs> I feel the need to stand on my tiptoes when I cook, so. <laughs> That's why my height is changing. I'm not growing as the mayo is being made. <laughs> as it gets thicker, Marla gets taller. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did not say that. Together, you've used up all your oil then you can transfer it to a glass container I'm gonna take a second and wipe the sweat away so it doesn't get in there all right so we took a little break to clean up everything now we're gonna put it in a glass so our paleo mayo is all good and I'm just gonna pour it into this glass so we can transfer it to the fridge and it'll get a little bit thicker in the fridge, just sitting. But it's good to go right now. So you can use it in, to make some tuna salad, potato salad, egg salad. Uh, if you've got some paleo bread on hand, you can put it on some sandwiches or you can make a, uh, whatever you choose to use mayo for. And we've got just a little bit left in the bowl, but tastes good. We're ready to go. We've got our paleo mayo. So there you have it. That is how to make paleo mayonnaise. And when you make yours, let me know how it turns out on Twitter or Facebook or Google Plus or YouTube on the bottom of this video, or even on Instagram. Tag me if you do make it. Cheers and enjoy. Mayo. Holy sweat fest, man. So what's the extra stuff? That is the egg whites and that is the lemon juice that I squeezed. Did you use lemon juice? Yeah, two teaspoons. Want some mayo? <laughs> Too juicy. Mm, that's pretty delicious. Mm -hmm. And the not so delicious one is in the fridge. What's that? The one that we I made with the avocado oil. See, this is the difference. So this is the good stuff, right? It's like the right consistency, and it tastes right. This I used uh, avocado oil and. Um, oh, let's change, try that. 
I guess it firmed up in the fridge. Good. Avocado oil like and um, light mayo. But it's more avocado y, you know? Yeah, like That's it, more mayo y. Yeah, I know what you mean, but I still like that. Yeah, so it's in the fridge if you want to put it on some meat. meat. Bread. <laughs> or vegetables. It's right here. Remember the good old um, Wonder and uh, ham and mayonnaise sandwiches and some cheese? <laughs> you should, for this, you can feel your reminisce about food. <laughs> hey, remember, <laughs> you make the good stuff, I'll, I'll talk about the shit. <laughs> can I get this thing out of my pants? <laughs> That's quite literally the shit. <laughs> so there, there you have that, that, that. <laughs>